Hello, and thank you for tuning in. You are tuned in to The Encourager, and my name is Nehru. Hope you're doing well. Um, so let's get going on our angel numbers this morning. It is 927. Uh, local time, my time, that's a three. So, uh, and it's also a 35, or uh, 36. So let's go ahead and get going with our angel numbers. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much, subscribers, uh, and those who are listening in for the first time. Okay, so let's go to the right page and let's do lower right. Fiscal responsibility, 810. So you could be October 8th. Okay, I have a daughter born October 6th. Um, let's see, you could be August 10th, you could be August 1st, you could be September, you could be born in the ninth month, right? Because eight plus one, all right? So let's see, value yourself, spend money on frivolous things that bring, spending money on frivolous things that bring neither satisfaction nor long-term joy is something to take inventory of here. Your angels call upon you to be more fis physically responsible, fiscally responsible, and physically. <laughs> so as to attract abundance your way, take time today to map out a few changes to your spending habits. Okay. So for me, uh, where I am, it's, um, I would say relatively inexpensive for for what I get today <laughs> or for what I pay today for where I'm renting. Um, and I am fortunate in that I have self-employment, so I don't uh, need to look for a job or what have you. But in addition to that, I also receive VA disability. Um, and uh, yeah, so so that helps me to at least in the current situation, to not be scrounging, okay? Uh, and with the few tax returns that I am doing this year, uh, I am uh, sitting probably 70% of that, uh, sitting 70% of that aside. Um, so uh, even opened up another bank account in order to do so. So, uh, so I'm doing those things. Uh, other things that I'm doing also, uh, or that I've already been aware of. So, so I've educated myself, not just because of the field that I've been in for 13 years as a tax accountant or some form thereof, um, in that industry, uh, bookkeeper or what have you, but also, um, I've educated, been able to educate myself over the last 30 years. 30 years, <laughs> 13 years, <laughs> wow, 30 years, um, 30 years, what happened 30 years ago, 30 years ago, uh, I was a year from going into the military, I enlisted in March of 95, uh, well, I didn't enlist, I went off to basic training in March of 95, so that was, yeah, <laughs> but uh, 13 years ago, not 30 years ago, okay, <laughs> So I've learned a lot over that time, okay? The information that I've learned about the U.S. tax system and how we can go about protecting generational wealth and things like that, these are things that and knowledge that I will use moving forward as I rebuild uh, and, uh, and apply the things that I've learned through that occupant, through that occupation from, uh, to what what I'm doing now and what I'll be doing moving forward, right? Healing healing the nations, the people. That's the people, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get our next angel number. Hopefully you're doing something along those lines as well uh, in financially preparing yourself, whether you... There's so many different things you could use today. So there's there's obviously QuickBooks. They have a, they have a, a self-employment version or a personal version. They also have... There's zero, which is more for business. There's, there's, um, 
there's one that starts with an S. I'm forgetting what it what it is. There's one that starts Sage. I'm forgetting that. I just said Sage. <laughs> so say there's Sage. There's Thomson Reuters. There's there's which is CS Accounting. Uh, so there's all sorts of right, and most of that again is business software. But there are plenty of other personal budgeting softwares that you can use that are very easy that have apps you could use you can download them onto your phone um including intuit uh which is the owner of quickbooks so the all of these all of these software companies they all have the majority of them have apps um, that you can download on your phone to help you better manage I like the word manage instead of budget. Budget puts stress on unnecessary stress on you, right? For most of us, really, it's a matter of moving money around and not that we don't have enough. We just need to move it around in the way that we go about spending it. Again, one of the ways that I do, the first thing I do is I go to the refrigerator, right? Uh, and this is something that, I don't know, Most High has revealed to me over time. Go to the refrigerator first and then consider how many times you actually go out rather than cook. OK, and change that up. OK, today with all the ordering services and all that sort of thing, you know, uh, if I order something from Uber, if I order. Some tacos, right, order three tacos, those three tacos, after delivering everything, that might run me $30, okay? And if you can comfortably afford that, that's fine. That's not a problem. But, or if you're not worried about money, then okay. Um, but, if you are worried about money, and you know if you're consciously worried about money, okay, and trying to dig yourself out of the poverty mindset, then... You should probably not do those. You should not spend that money on that. There's also another side to that also, that poverty mindset. And that is to also not be afraid to spend when you do have it. Okay? Or when you do know that it's okay. So you're not being over overly frivolous. So, so you spend money, right? You give or spend, right? And you also receive. Okay? So if you're holding on to a penny so tight, right? That you're suffocating it, right? <laughs> the man on the penny suffocating, you're probably suffering from some some poverty mindset and probably need to adjust some things, okay? So let's go to our last angel number. Let's pick a number towards the front. Okay, so let's go right page. Oh, maybe that was our first angel number. Let's go, uh, yeah, let's go left page, right lower. Physical sensations. Be present with your body. You are asked to get in touch with your body today. The physical sensations you experience can be in the present into can bring into the present moment. Focus on deep breathing and as you do so, you will see changes that bring you toward self-awareness and focus. 367. I like that 367. So you're looking at 16. You could be born in March of 1967. You could be born in August of 60 or uh, no, July of 63, June of 73, right? Any number of ways those numbers could work out for you, okay? So physical sensations. I posted a video some time ago. <laughs> I posted a video some time ago. I laugh because I crack myself up sometimes. Uh, but I posted a video some time ago titled... Uh, men, you don't need pussy for your purpose, and women, you don't need dick for your destination, okay? And really, the purpose of the video was really to share with us 
or, or to further bring home just what that angel number 367 was just saying, okay? And that is to love yourself first, okay? Because 1010 on the timer, when you look at yourself, if you do not love yourself, if you do not love who you are, you do not love who you look, I understand we all want to make improvements. I want to make improvements on myself, okay? This is why I do daily exercise, or at least almost every day. I do some form of exercise almost every day, okay? This, this is why, okay? So you love yourself first, and you love yourself right, okay? Then you can attract that same type of love. You cannot attract what you are not, and what you are not cannot attract you. Okay. Someone once said, "You can only produce after your own kind." Someone once said, "A man is as a man thinks." Someone once said. Okay. As above, so below. <laughs> right. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get to our next uh, and last angel number here today. All right. And let's see. We'll open up to the middle of the page, middle of the book. And let's go left page again. Let's go left page. Left page, upper right. Cleanse. I like it. And it's 4.30. Okay. April 30th. Uh, I have a sister that was born on 4.20. I have a brother who was born, or I'm sorry, on 3.22. She just had her birthday. And then I have a brother who was born on 3.30. Okay. So, um, cleanse your energy. The energy around you tends to stick on you. Your angels urge you to notice it and clear it. Diffuse, esen diffuse essential oils and light a white candle. Then visualize white light surrounding you and extending into your space. Clearing it of any stale or negative energy. Open a window and a door and know that the energy is moving away from you. Okay? Uh, angel number 430. So I do this all the time. This morning... Before I came on, um, uh, I took some time to smudge, burn sage, uh, Florida water, uh, just to cleanse the energy for the morning because I, I don't know, as they used to say, I want to come to you correct, I guess. <laughs> and not just that, it's, it's for myself too, you know, for cleansing of my energy from overnight uh, or what have you. Okay, and so, uh, yeah, I, you know, you know, I stress how important that is each and every, each and every day, practically, how important it is to cleanse your energy, clear your energy. One of my favorite energy cleansing exercises or rituals, I guess, if you could call it that, is egg cleanse. Okay, I like doing the egg cleanse because to me, it um, uh, it works extremely well for me for clean for clearing out my energy. I immediately feel the difference, and uh, yeah. So egg cleanses work for me. Although the majority of what I do uh, for daily is just saging and incense, right? I also use crystals. Okay. So anyway, thank you so much as always for tuning in. So, with our angel numbers today, okay, 430, 367, and I forgot the first one already, even though I tend to remember numbers. Uh, you know, the first one was about, it was about physical, um, about enjoying yourself, right? Loving yourself, I believe was the first one. So physical sensations, uh, it notice those things. So if you meditate, your crown chakra, your top of your head tingles when you focus on your crown chakra, when you focus on the top, right? And, you're, and it's starting to open. It starts to tingle on the top of your head. Same thing with your third eye. Your third eye 
you will feel tension in there. You'll feel pressure right there between your eyebrows. Okay, right there between your eyebrows. If you don't, take your middle finger and your pointing finger and put them together and place them in the middle of your in your head or your forehead, whichever, and hold it there for 30 seconds. Okay, and release it. All right, and then remove your hand. Okay. And that also helps to open up your chakras if they're closed. All right. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. My name's Nehru. This is The Encourager. And as always, be encouraged.